Give it up for Rosebud! Anyway, yeah. amplified things. Here's what I learned in uh, eight weeks of comedy school. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a bad joke? <laughs> <laughs> a skinny joke. Yes. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Buenos Nachos. Good to see you, dude. The new deaths. I really can't see you from here. That's kind of cool because I'm afraid of people. <laughs> it's good to be here in the recently renamed Artie Fletcher Memorial Hall. <laughs> here at Artie Fletcher Comedy University, standing on the Artie Fletcher Memorial Stage. Ah, this is great. You know, I've never really graduated from anything. This is kind of going to be a first. I love it. What I'd like to do is say, my name is Rosebud. Not really sure how that happened. My mother was a beatnik, and my father was a fairy. Make of that what you will. I remember the boys leaning over my crib. Think happy thoughts, Rosebud, and you will fly. <laughs> that was my <so> bad. <laughs> well, you may have noticed I had a little trouble getting up here on the stage. I have kind of a gimped up leg. It happened during the Vietnam War. Yeah. I remember it like it was 40 years ago. <laughs> It was a dark, stormy night. <laughs> Helicopters, sirens, searchlights. I was climbing over this barbed wire fence, trying to get into Canada. <laughs> well, I think we're at the end of it, but I have to announce that Michael Jackson is still dead. <laughs> And at the top of the hour, we'll have a report on what the Los Angeles police found in Michael Jackson's ass. <laughs> God, I hope his wine's down. Michael's gone, he's gone, but he'll soon be appearing in New Mexico on a taco. <laughs> with Jesus and Elvis. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster. The Virgin Mary could not be reached for Tom. <laughs> oh, brothers and sisters. Ain't the world in a terrible mess? I mean, you've got the greedy publicans fighting the common press. You've got the Disraelis fighting the Hamboozlers. You've got the ACs fighting the DCs. You've got Indians in gambling casinos scalping people. Cowboys, right another cowboy. Asteroids on steroids threatening to destroy the world. And aliens, anally groping, good church going folk and <laughs> But the biggest threat to the world today, marriage! <laughs> Men and women have no business living together. <laughs> they all need to be separated. I believe the men should be all put into barracks, family warehouses and caves. The women should be all given separate cute little bungalows. Separate little bungalows because women can't even get along with other women. We'll throw a barn dance on the weekend. Everybody can get together and party, noodle, and whatever. This will immediately make everybody much happier. Yeah, except for the women. Nothing makes women happy. <laughs> Men and women have no business living together. Their natures are different. Men are like dogs. Women are like cats. And as any dog will tell you, cats are screwed up. <laughs> Besides, the motivation for men and women getting together is different for the guys than for the women. Yeah. Men just want to have sex. Men just want to get laid. Right, guys? <laughs> a little more enthusiasm, gee. <laughs> Viva, bye, Edward, something, come on. <laughs> what do the women want? 
<laughs> Get her number. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff, things, material possessions. You ask a woman, she'll tell you. What do you want from a marriage? I want a husband who will love me. Who will love me and prove that he loves me by giving me material possessions. Lots of stuff. I want him to be a good provider. Good provider. There's two words that will screw up a young man's head. Good provider. Someone says I'm such a good provider. Someone says boyfriend gives her everything. He's such a good provider. Good provider. Good provider. <laughs> Most guys want to be good providers, but it gets a little harder every year. There <laughs> was a time when a man could walk out of the woods, whack a possum on the head with a stick, drag it home to the cave, uh, throw it at his wife, yeah. and now, behold, beloved wife, I have provided! And she'd be grateful! <laughs> she'd skin the damn thing, cook it up for him, give him a big hug, and say, Oh, Mongo! You are such a good provider! Some of you guys might want to try that. Next time you run over a possum, take it home and throw it at your wife. <laughs> <laughs> that situation didn't last long anyway. Pretty soon, the cave man be dragging home a possum. Cave wife meets him at the cave door going, Possum again? <laughs> what is with you and the possum? Possum, 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 I am so sick of possum. I was talking to my girlfriend, you know, their guy could bring him home with elks and antelopes and buffalo. <laughs> They are such good providers. <laughs> Marriage is a bad idea. <laughs>